YouTube, how are you doing today? My name is Theo and welcome back to So, welcome I would like to thank each and every one of you who liked my previous two videos it really motivated me to make a third video So, that's why I'm making this one in today's video, we're going to learn about your chest, aka your pecs, aka your pectoralis major and minor. As usual, we're going to dive into the anatomy, and then we're going to dive into the function of your pecs, and as last, I'm going to show you 15 exercises on how you can train them effectively. Alright, are you ready? Let's get started. The anatomy. Your chest has officially four muscles, the pectoralis major, the pectoralis minor, the serratus anterior, and the subclavius muscle. However, in this video we will mainly focus on the pectoralis major as it is the biggest and the strongest and it contributes the most to the aesthetics of your chest. The pectoralis major is a fan-shaped muscle that covers your entire chest. It has two distinguished heads as you can see here the clavicular head and the sternocostal head. The clavicular head originates on the medial half of the clavicular. The sternocostal head originates on the anterior surface of the sternum, the costal cartilage of ribs 1 to 7, and the upper neurosis of the external oblique muscle. The two heads converge into one big tendon that is about fist wide and inserts on the intertubercular groove on the humerus. The fibers twist here a little, with the top clavicular head fibers inserting lower on the humerus, and the middle and lower fibers inserting higher on the humerus. This has certain implications for the function of the pecs, as we will see in a bit. And right underneath the pectoralis major lies the pectoralis minor. The pectoralis minor is a thin triangular muscle which originates on the surface of the ribs 3, 4 and 5. Its insertion is on the coracoid process of the scapula. The function. The two heads of the pectoralis major have contrasting function when you look at them independently. The clavicular head does flexion of the shoulder joint it pulls the arm upwards in front of you. The sternocostal head does the opposite, extension of the shoulder joint. It brings the arm back to the anatomical stance. It also does flexion of the shoulder joint from a hyperextended position, like when you are doing dips, as we're going to see in a bit. But when you flex the both heads of the pectoralis major as a whole, you get adduction of the shoulder joints as you can see here and medial rotation and the pectoralis minor is more of a respiratory and stabilizing muscle it helps to stabilize the scapula and aids with forced respiration it is small and almost impossible to isolate with training Thus, we will not pay much attention to it from here on. The exercises. Alright, now that you know the anatomy and the function, I'm going to show you 15 exercises that you can do to effectively train your chest. I'm going to start with the easy ones that any beginner can do and count backwards to the most effective ones. All of these exercises you can do in your typical commercial gym. Alright, without further ado, let's jump into the exercise. The first exercise coming in at number 15 is the push-up. Very easy, very effective exercise, very old, everybody knows this one. You can do them just with your own body weight. I like to do them with my feet elevated because it targets a bit more of the clavicular head because that's what I want to train mostly. But of course, you can do them on the ground, they are equally effective, they target the entire chest and the best part about it, you can do it at home, quit at the gym, you can do it anywhere. So no excuses. The next exercise is the dumbbell pullover. Make sure to grab a challenging dumbbell, plant your feet firmly and have a slight arc in your lower back. 
retract your shoulders and pull your dumbbell back and forth in a small arch. If you have tight lats like I do, you probably won't feel this exercise as much because you will not be able to go that deep with the dumbbell. The next exercise is the dips, a classic exercise that is used to train your triceps as well as your chest. Make sure to have a slight lean forward. Remember from the anatomy, the lower part of the pecs assist in shoulder flexion when they come from a hyperextended position. With a slight lean forward, you are targeting the lower pecs very effectively and experienced lifters, you can probably use an extra weight around your belt to make it a bit more challenging. The next exercise is the landmine chest press. At the same place where you normally do your T-bar rows, you can do this exercise. First, you can hold it in two ways. You can put your fingers together like this and push it up. Or you can hold your fingers in a suicide grip like this. And this puts a bit more emphasis on the pecs. This exercise targets the clavicular head, also known as your upper pecs. Make sure to feel the muscle that you're contracting here, aka use the mind-muscle connection and you don't need to fully lock out when you're pushing it out. The next exercise is the chest press machine. This is a fairly easy machine, I would definitely recommend it for beginners. For all the pushing exercise that you're going to do for your chest, always remember to retract your shoulders first. This puts you in the best anatomical position for your pecs to work. You have the wide grip variation, but you also have the close grip variation that targets a bit more of the triceps. The next exercise is the pec fly machine. What I like about this exercise is that it keeps constant tension on your pecs, thus making your pecs work the full range of motion. Make sure that you are sitting at the right height and that you keep your arm in slight bend so that you can contract in an arch. This is important for the pecs to contract optimally. The next exercise is the incline dumbbell fly. This exercise you can also do it on a flat bench, but I like to do it on the incline, again to target a bit more of the upper pecs. When you're doing this exercise, you must keep the arch as much as possible, hence you cannot go heavy on this exercise and it is not necessary. So it is a nice exercise to kind of strengthen your pecs, but it's not for it to build your pecs. For that, we will sh I will show you some exercises that are coming from now on that will really target the pecs for growth. The next exercise is the cable fly. The cable fly is an exercise that is really made for the chest. Depending on where the cables are coming from and how your torso is uh, situated, you are you are always turning the chest, but just from different angles. What I'm doing here, I'm mostly focusing on the sternocostical head, so the mid and the lower part of the pec. But if the cables are coming from down and going up, you will be targeting a bit more of the upper pecs because the clavicular head does shoulder flexion. The next exercise is yet another pec fly, so I'll call it pec fly 2. What I love about this exercise is that it isolates the pectoralis major very well. So here there's no tricep involvement only your pecs are working here. This is one of the few machine exercises that's, that also targets the pectoralis minor. Alright, now we are starting to get into the exercises that are really meant to build your chest. This plate-loaded incline chest press machine is an excellent exercise to target the upper pecs of your, of your chest. What I like about this machine in particular is that the handles are quite unique. They are a bit more flat. There is more surface area for your palms to push on. So I feel I feel more powerful with these handles than with the round handle. The next exercise is the plate loaded chest press. Basically the same as the previous one, but this one targets more of the sternocostal head, the mid and lower part of the pecs. 
The great thing is about these machines really is that you have this unilateral movement that you can uh, perform and the handles they are really phenomenal. It almost makes me feel like I'm bench pressing. The next exercise is the Dumbo chest press on a flat bench. You can also do this exercise on an inclined bench, but I like to do it on a flat bench. The Dumbo chest press is one of the most important exercises to build your chest. It is a very effective compound movement that involves not only your chest but also lots of your triceps and your shoulders. Because you are pressing with dumbbells here, you need a lot of stability and therefore a lot of stability muscles here are active making this exercise even more challenging. Coming in at number 3 is the incline bench press. The last three exercises are the three variations of the bench press. As the bench press is highly supported by numerous studies to be one of the best exercises for optimal chest development. By the way, all the scientific studies mentioned in this video are linked below. When it comes to the incline bench press, a study by Treps et al. found that activation of the clavicular head of the pectoralis major was significantly greater at 44 and 56 degrees angle compared to 0 degrees, which means the incline bench press works mostly the upper part of your chest. Most people already knew this, but at least you know the exact angle now. The next exercise is the flat bench press. The staple exercise used by all bros to develop their chests. It is also highly supported by literature as a good exercise for overall chest development. For example, this study by Lover et al. found that the flat bench press activated both the upper and lower heads of the pectoralis. What more do you want? And coming in at number one is the decline bench press. When it comes to the decline bench press, there's a lot of debate whether it is better than the flat bench press. The literature findings are also not consistent. Some studies have found higher muscle activation for the sternocostal head when performing the flat bench press. Others have reported no significant difference when performing the flat bench press or the decline bench press. So why did they put the decline bench press on number one? Well, it is because the decline bench press recruits another big muscle, the latissimus dorsi, also known as your lats. These two big muscles will induce more muscle damage that will then induce more growth of your natural human growth hormone. On a side note, on the internet, many sports forums and websites have cited this study by Book Barons and Buskis from 2000 that claims that the decline bench press is superior in muscle activation for the clavicular head, abdominal head and the sternocostical head. However, I could not find the original article to read the full text, so I am unsure if it is reliable. An alternative to this debate is the so-called powerlifting bench press. This type of bench press is used by powerlifters and is in essence a small decline press from a flat bench. Here you arch your lower back as much as possible while keeping your butt on the bench and feet flat. From this position you are utilizing your lats as well as your chest and most people are able to push more weights with this technique also. Nevertheless, for the best chest development, you have to hit your chest from different angles using different types of training exercises. That was the video. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, before we finish, I have one bonus exercise for you guys. The last exercise I would like to give you guys is the Gerando Dips. This was invented by Vince Gerando, a famous trainer from the 40s and 50s who was also known as the Iron Guru. These dips do look a bit weird but they are supposed to target your lower chest and your pectoralis minor. This was my first time trying them, let me know what you think of them. Alright that was it for today, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, it motivates me to make more of these kind of videos. And you can always leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have any suggestion on what the next muscle I which next muscle I should do. Go train your chest. Don't forget to subscribe and check out these other videos that I made. And I'll see you again in the next video.